Get has been a, a competitor to us uh, for a long time uh, with the different uh, owners, and uh, and now they, it appears that they will get a new owner, and and uh, that's that's fine with us. It's a consolidation of of the industry in Norway. Uh, we have a very strong uh, fixed position in Norway uh, and have a, a, a large and increasing uh, fiber position. Uh, fiber is the name of the game in Norway, both for companies but also for private consumers. Uh, and that's where we are focusing, developing our position organically. So, so this is not unexpected. It is not uh, for us uh, a, a big news and we continue with our program. So you welcome the competition, essentially. Yeah, well, we, we, there's been competition the whole time, uh, so so we we don't actually see very much changing. Uh, so so we con continue with our strategy to build out fiber, to strengthen our mobile networks, and to have uh, best offerings both for private customers and also for businesses in Norway. Speaking of competition, last month you were fined nearly 100 million US dollars by the Norwegian competition watchdog for abusing your dominant market position in Norway to prevent further investment in a third mobile network there. Your company said it disagreed with the decision and expected to appeal it. When can we expect that appeal against what was ultimately one of the largest corporate fines in Norwegian history? Yeah, we, we will appeal it. And uh, we, have, uh, we have six months, so I, until, uh, until Christmas, to put it that way, to, uh, to do that. And, uh, and uh, we will appeal it. So, we are now looking into into the the rulings, and and we will take uh, give our, our response on that. You've gone looking for growth in countries like Myanmar, Bangladesh, Pakistan. Yet this past quarter, you've seen both your revenues and your EBITDA in those territories fall compared to the last year. It's not like you're investing that much more money in those places. So why is that happening? Well, uh, Willem, uh, we, we don't see it falling. We see uh, the growth at the level that we saw uh, last year uh, not being maintained. In particular, if you talk about Bangladesh and Pakistan, we still see uh, positive growth numbers. Uh, but we have seen a slower growth in, in the first quarter and halfway into second quarter, uh, both in Bangladesh and Pakistan, for, for specific reasons. We see the end of the quarter, second quarter uh, growth picking up, both in Pakistan and Bangladesh, and, and we see that speed continuing to uh, third quarter. So it's a combination of uh, some market specifics. Uh, we are also building out the, the 4G network in Bangladesh. It's uh, also a, 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 an effect of having very high growth numbers in the same market in the first half of last year. So the comparables are pretty tough. But uh, this is the quarter where we see that the, the market development, including customer acquisition, is very robust. And we are quite pleased with that this quarter. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.